Hey YouTube, iTechRoll11 here with a video comparison of Mailbox versus iOS Maple app. See right here I am showing off the UI of both apps. You see they both are pretty clean. With Mailbox you get a little thumbnail in the left hand corner which you can tap to get to your different settings and accounts. Now with Apple Mat with Apple Mail you just get all of your accounts in the mailbox section. And then once you click on that, you can go to all your different mail. Now you see on the Apple Mail, you can flag it or mark it as unread, or you can change it to another mailbox, or you can archive it. You can also reply to the message by clicking the little arrow, and you can compose a new message by tapping the box in the bottom right hand corner. So the commands and controls are pretty simple with Apple Mail. Now with Mailbox, you get three tabs on the top, and for the middle tab, which is the Mailbox main one, I'm going to show you what that is now. Now Mailbox uses gestures, as you can see you can slide different ways to get different commands. So if you slide it to the right about halfway, it goes into red messages, which is all the message that you read and put it there. And if you swipe back to the left, it will go back to the Mailbox. Now automatically if you read in mail, it won't go to the check, so you have to move it over there. So if you swipe even more, it will send it to the trash by letting go of the red X. Or if you want to, you can swipe it to the re left about halfway and you can set a time for it to remind you. So you see you can do evening, tomorrow, pick a date, or just someday. And if you swipe it all the way to the right, you see you have the option to put it in a mailbox, either to buy, to read, or to watch, or in the settings you can create a new list. So really it's gesture based, which makes it a little bit easier to navigate. And on the top right hand corner you have the compose button, which is the to, the subject, and if you want to add photos you type the little camera icon. Now I'm going to compare the speed, which is probably one of the biggest things. So both of these have no apps running, so both of them will be running on a fresh start. And you can see the mail app does start up sooner, but the mailbox app is checking for new messages, while the Apple map, the Apple mail, is still doing that. Overall, the mailbox app is much more clean and fluid, and definitely runs smoother overall. So my final judgment is that mailbox is a little bit of a better application. It is a little bit smoother and faster overall, and definitely I like the gestures. Now there is a waiting list when you join Mailbox, I'm not sure how long it is now, but it took over a week for me to get it. So definitely if you wait for the time for Mailbox, it's definitely a faster and much cleaner version than the Apple Mail. So that's basically my review, I hope this helped, I hope this comparison is something that you liked. So if you did like this, please like it, and if you like my new intro, please like that as well. Thanks for watching YouTube. Please subscribe. This is iTechWar11, and I'll see you later.